Cordoba, Spanish, Cubeta, also called Cordova in English, is a city in Andalusia, southern Spain, and the capital of the province of Cordoba. It was a Roman settlement, taken over by the Visigoths, and then colonized by Muslim armies in the 8th century. It became the capital of a Muslim emirate, and then of the Caliphate of Cordoba, which encompassed most of the Iberian Peninsula. During this period, it became a center of education and learning, and by the 10th century had grown to possibly the largest city in Europe. It was recaptured by Christian forces in 1236, during the Reconquista. Today, Córdoba is still home to many notable pieces of Moorish architecture such as the Mezquita, which was named as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984, and is currently in use as a cathedral. The UNESCO status has since been expanded to encompass the whole historic center of Córdoba. Much of this architecture, such as the Alcazar and the Roman Bridge has been reworked or reconstructed by the city's successive inhabitants. Córdoba has the highest summer temperatures in Spain and Europe, with average high temperatures around 37 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in July and August. History Prehistory, antiquity and Roman foundation of the city The first traces of human presence in the area are remains of a Neanderthal man, dating to c. 42,000–35,000 BC. Pre-urban settlements around the mouth of the Guadalquivir River are known to have existed from the 8th century BC. The population gradually learned copper and silver metallurgy. The first historical mention of a settlement dates to the Carthaginian expansion across the Guadalquivir, when General Hamilcar Barca renamed it Kartuba, from Kart Juba, meaning the city of Juba, a Numidian commander who had died in a battle nearby. Córdoba was conquered by the Romans in 206 BC and named as Corduba. In 169 Roman consul M. Claudius Marcellus, grandson of Marcus Claudius Marcellus, who had governed both further and hither Spain Hispania Ulterior and Hispania Satirior, respectively, founded a Latin colony alongside the pre-existing Iberian settlement. Between 143 and 141 BC the town was besieged by Viriatus. A Roman forum is known to have existed in the city in 113 BC. The famous Cordoba treasure, with mixed local and Roman artistic traditions, was buried in the city at this time. It is now in the British Museum. It became a colonia with the title Patricia, between 46 and 45 BC. It was sacked by Caesar in 45 due to its Pompeian allegiance, and settled with veterans by Augustus. It became capital of Baetica and had a colonial and provincial forum and many temples. It was the chief center of Roman intellectual life in Hispania Ulterior further Spain. Its republican poets were succeeded by Seneca and Lucan. At the time of Julius Caesar, Córdoba was the capital of the Roman province of Hispania Baetica. The great Roman philosopher Seneca the Younger, his father, the orator Seneca the Elder, and his nephew, the poet Lucan came from Roman Córdoba. In the late Roman period, its bishop Hosius Ossus was the dominant figure of the Western Church throughout the earlier 4th cent. Later, it occupied an important place in the Provincia Hispaniae of the Byzantine Empire 552 and under the Visigoths, who conquered it in the late 6th century. Umayyad rule Córdoba was captured in 711 by the Umayyad army. Unlike other Iberian towns, no capitulation was signed and the position was taken by storm. Córdoba was in turn governed by direct Umayyad rule. The new Umayyad commanders established themselves within the city and in 716 it became a provincial capital, subordinate to the Caliphate of Damascus, in Arabic it was known as Kurt Different areas were allocated for services in the St. Vincent Church shared by Christians and Muslims, until construction of the Cordoba Mosque started on the same spot under Abd ar Rahman i Abd al Rahman allowed the Christians to rebuild their ruined churches and purchased the Christian half of the Church of St. Vincent. In May 766, Cordoba was chosen as the capital of the independent Umayyad Emirate, later Caliphate, of al Andalus. By 800 the megacity of Córdoba supported over 200,000 residents, 0.1% of the global population. 
During the apogee of the Caliphate 1000 AD, Cordoba had a population of about 400,000 inhabitants, with estimates ranging from 100,000 to an unlikely 1 million. In the 10th and 11th centuries Cordoba was one of the most advanced cities in the world, and a great cultural, political, financial and economic center. The Great Mosque of Cordoba dates back to this time. After a change of rulers the situation changed quickly. The vizier al-Mansur the unofficial ruler of al-Andalus from 976 to 1002, burned most of the books on philosophy to please the Moorish clergy, most of the others were sold off or perished in the civil strife not long after. Cordoba had a prosperous economy, with manufactured goods including leather, metal work, glazed tiles and textiles, and agricultural produce including a range of fruits, vegetables, herbs and spices, and materials such as cotton, flax and silk. It was also famous as a center of learning, home to over 80 libraries and institutions of learning, with knowledge of medicine, mathematics, astronomy, botany far exceeding the rest of Europe at the time. In 1002, Al Mansur was returning to Cordoba from an expedition in the area of Rioja when he died. His death was the beginning of the end of Cordoba. Abd al Malik al Muzaffar, al Mansur's older son, succeeded to his father's authority, but he died in 1008, possibly assassinated. Sanchuelo, Abd al-Malik's younger brother succeeded him. While Sanchuelo was away fighting Alfonso V of Leon, a revolution made Muhammad II al-Mahdi the caliph. Sanchuelo sued for pardon but he was killed when he returned to Cordova. The slaves revolted against Mahdi, killed him in 1009, and replaced him with Hisham II in 1010. Hisham II kept a male harem and was forced out of office. In 1012 the Berbers sacked Cordova. In 1016 the slaves captured Cordova and searched for Hisham II, but he had escaped to Asia. This event was followed by a fight for power until Hisham III, the last of the Umayyads, was routed from Cordoba in 1031. As the caliphate collapsed, so did Cordoba's economic and political hegemony, and it subsequently became part of the taifa of Cordoba. <laughs> Modern history During the process known as the Spanish Reconquista, Córdoba was captured by King Ferdinand III of Castile on 29 June 1236, after a siege of several months. The city was divided into 14 colaciones, and numerous new church buildings were added. The center of the mosque was converted into a large Catholic cathedral. The city declined, especially after Renaissance times. In the 18th century it was reduced to just 20,000 inhabitants. The population and economy started to increase again only in the early 20th century. With the most extensive historical heritages in the world declared World Heritage Site by UNESCO on 17 December 1984, the city also has a number of modern areas, including the districts of Zoko and the railway station district. The regional government the Junta de Andalusia has for some time been studying the creation of a Córdoba metropolitan area that would comprise, in addition to the capital itself, the towns of Villafranca de Córdoba, Obeo, La Carlota, Villajarda, Villavichosa, Almodovar del Rio and Guadalcazar. The combined population of such an area would be around 351,000. The Plano de Córdoba was also known for its books and how they created it. Topic. Geography The city is on the banks of the Guadalquivir River, and its easy access to the mining resources of the Sierra Morena coal, lead, zinc satisfies the population's needs. The city is in a depression of the valley of the Guadalquivir. In the north is the Sierra Morena, which defines the borders of the municipal area. Climate Córdoba has a Mediterranean climate climate classification CSA. It has one of the highest summer average daily temperatures in Europe, with highs averaging 36.9 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in July and days with temperatures over 40 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit are common in the summer months. August's 24-hour average of 28.0 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit is also among one of the highest in Europe, despite relatively cool nightly temperatures. Winters are mild, yet cooler than other low-lying cities in southern Spain due to its interior location, wedged between the Sierra Morena and the Pennabetic system. 
Precipitation is concentrated in the coldest months, this is due to the Atlantic coastal influence. Precipitation is generated by storms from the west that occur most frequently from December to February. This Atlantic characteristic then gives way to a hot summer with significant drought more typical of Mediterranean climates. Annual rain surpasses 600 mm although it is recognized to vary from year to year. The registered maximum temperature at the Córdoba airport, located at 6 km 4 miles from the city, was 46.9 degrees Celsius .4 degrees Fahrenheit on 13 July 2017. The lowest registered temperature was minus 8.2 degrees Celsius (17.2 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 28th of January 2005. Topic: <laughs> Architecture. Cordoba has the second largest old town in Europe, the largest urban area in the world declared World Heritage by UNESCO. Topic. Roman The Roman bridge, over the Guadalquivir River, links the area of Campo de la Verdad with Barrio de la Catedral. It was the only bridge of the city for 20 centuries, until the construction of the San Rafael Bridge in the mid-20th century. Built in the early 1st century BC, during the period of Roman rule in Córdoba, probably replacing a more primitive wooden one, it has a length of about 250 meters and has 16 arches. Other Roman remains include the Roman Temple, the Theater, Mausoleum, the Colonial Forum, the Forum Adiectum, an amphitheater and the remains of the Palace of Emperor Maximian in the archaeological site of Circadia. Islamic Great Mosque of Cordoba From 784–786 AD, Abd al-Rahman I built the Mezquita, or Great Mosque, of Córdoba, in the Umayyad style of architecture with variations inspired by indigenous Roman and Christian Visigothic structures. Later caliphs extended the mosque with more domed bays, arches, intricate mosaics and a minaret, making it one of the four wonders of the medieval Islamic world. After the Christian reconquest of Andalusia, a cathedral was built in the heart of the mosque, however much of the original structure remains. It can be found in the historic center of Córdoba, a recognized World Heritage Site. <inaudible> <inaudible> Minaret of San Juan Built in 930 AD, the mosque that this minaret adorned has been replaced by a church and the minaret repurposed as a tower. Even so, it retains the characteristics of Islamic architecture in the region, including two ornamental arches. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mills of the Guadalquivir. Along the banks of the Guadalquivir are the mills of the Guadalquivir, Moorish era buildings that use the water flow to grind flour. They include the Albalafia, Alegria, Carbonell, Casillas, Enmedio, Lope Garcia, Martos, Papalo, San Antonio, San Lorenzo and San Rafael Mills. <inaudible> <inaudible> Medina Azahara On the outskirts of the city lies the archaeological site of the city of Medina Azahara, which, together with the Alhambra in Granada, is one of the main examples of Spanish Muslim architecture in Spain. Califal <coughs> <coughs> Baths Near the stables are located, along the walls, the medieval baths of the Umayyad caliphs. Jewish Quarter Near the cathedral is the Old Jewish Quarter, which consists of many irregular streets, such as Calleja de las Flores and Calleja del Pañuelo, and which is home to the synagogue and the Sephardic house. Christian Surrounding the large old town are the Roman walls, gates include the Puerta de Almodovar, the Puerta de Sevilla and Puerta del Puente, which are the only three gates remaining from the original thirteen. 
Towers and fortresses include the Malmuerta Tower, Torre de Belen and the Puerta del Rincón's Tower. In the south of the Old Town and east of the Great Cathedral, in the Plaza del Potro, is the Posada del Potro, a row of inns mentioned in literary works including Don Quixote and La Feria de los Discretos, and which remained active until 1972. Both the plaza and the inn get their name from the fountain in the center of the plaza, which represents a foal, Potro. Not far from this plaza is the Arco del Portillo, a 14th century arch. In the extreme southwest of the old town is the Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos, a former royal property and the seat of the Inquisition. Adjacent to it are the royal stables, where Andalusian horses are bred. Palace buildings in the old town include the Palacio de Viana, 14th century, and the Palacio de la Merced, among others. Other sites include the Cuesta del Baileo, a staircase connecting the upper and lower part of the city. Topic: <inaudible> Fernandine churches. The city is home to 12 Christian churches that were built, many as transformations of mosques, by Ferdinand III of Castile after the reconquest of the city in the 13th century. They were to act both as churches and as the administrative centers in the neighborhoods into which the city was divided in medieval times. Some of those that remain are San Nicolas de la Villa, San Miguel, San Juan y Tadus los Santos, also known as Iglesia de la Trinidad, Santa Marina de Aguas Santas, San Agustin. Begun in 1328, it has now an 18th century appearance. The facade bell tower, with four bells, dates to the 16th century. San Andres, largely renovated in the 14th and 15th centuries. It has a Renaissance portal 1489 and a bell tower from the same period, while the high altar is a Baroque work by Pedro Duque Cornejo. San Lorenzo Church of Santiago San Pedro Santa Maria Magdalena like the others, it combines Romanesque, Mudéjar and Gothic elements. San Pablo. In the church's garden in the 1990s the ruins of an ancient Roman circus were discovered. <laughs> other religious structures Iglesia de San Ippolito. It houses the tombs of Ferdinand IV and Alfonso XI of Castile, kings of Castile and Leon. Iglesia de San Francisco Iglesia de San Salvador y Santo Domingo de Silos Santario de Nuestra Señora de Liners Torre de Santo Domingo de Silos Santario de Nuestra Señora de la Fuensanta Chapel of San Bartolomé Convent of Santa Clara Convent of Santa Cruz Convent of Santa Marta Topic. Sculptures and memorials Scattered throughout the city are ten statues of the Archangel Raphael, protector and custodian of the city. These are called the Triumphs of Saint Raphael, and are located in landmarks such as the Roman Bridge, the Puerta del Puente and the Plaza del Potro. In the western part of the historic center are the statue of Seneca near the Puerta de Almodovar, a gate of Islamic origin, the statue of Averroes next to the Puerta de la Luna, and Maimonides in the Plaza de Tiberiades. Further south, near the Puerta de Sevilla, are the sculpture to the poet Ibn Zaydan and the sculpture of the writer and poet Ibn Hazm and, inside the Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos, the monument to the Catholic monarchs and Christopher Columbus. There are also several sculptures in plazas of the Old Town. In the central Plaza de las Tendillas is the equestrian statue of Gonzalo Fernández de Córdoba, in the Plaza de Capuchinos is the Cristo de los Faroles, in Plaza de la Trinidad is the statue of Luis de Góngora, in the Plaza del Cardinal Salazar is the bust of Ahmad ibn Muhammad Abu Yafur al Gafiki, in the Plaza de Capuchinas is the statue to the Bishop Osio, in Plaza del Conde de Priego is the monument to Manolite and the Campo Santo de los Martires is a statue to Al Hakam II and the monument to the the lovers. In the Jardins de la Agricultura is the monument to the painter Julio Romero de Torres, a bust by sculptor Mateo Inuria, a bust of the poet Julio Amente and the sculpture dedicated to the gardener Aniceto Garcia Roldan, who was killed in the park. Further south, in the gardens of the Duke of Rivas, is a statue of writer and poet Ángel de Saavedra, third Duke of Rivas by sculptor Mariano Benlacher. 
In the Guadalquivir River, near the San Rafael Bridge is the Island of the Sculptures, an artificial island with a dozen stone sculptures executed during the International Sculpture Symposium. Up the river, near the Miraflores Bridge, is the Ombre Rio, a sculpture of a swimmer looking to the sky and whose orientation varies depending from the current. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bridges. San Rafael Bridge, consisting of eight arches of 25 meters span and a length of 217 meters. The width is between parapets, divided into 12 meters of cobblestone for four circulations and two tiled concrete sidewalks. It was inaugurated on 29 April 1953 joining the Avenue Corregidor with Plaza de Andalusia. In January 2004 the plaques reading, His Excellency the Head of State and Generalissimo of all the Armies, Francisco Franco Bahamonde, opened this bridge of the Guadalquivir on 29 April 1953 which were on both sides of each of the entrances of the bridge, were removed. Andalusia Bridge, a suspension bridge. Puente de Miraflores, known as the Rusty Bridge. This bridge links the street San Fernando and Ronda de Asasa with the Miraflores Peninsula. It was designed by Herrero, Suarez and Casado and inaugurated on 2 May 2003. At first, in 1989, a proposal by architect-engineer Santiago Calatrava was considered that would look like the Lusitania Bridge of Mérida, but this was eventually discarded because its height would obscure the view of the Great Mosque. Ottavia del Sur Bridge Abbas ibn Furnas Bridge, inaugurated in January 2011 it is part of the variant west of Córdoba. Puente del Arenal, connecting Avenue Campo de la Verdad with the Recinto Ferial fairground of Córdoba. Gardens, parks and natural environments Jardins de la Victoria. Within the gardens there are two newly renovated facilities, the old Casita del Circulo de la Amistad, today Casita Victoria, and the Kiosco de la Musica, as well as a small modernist fountain from the early 20th century. The northern section, called Jardines of Duque de Rivas, features a pergola of neoclassical style, designed by the architect Carlos Sines de Santa Maria. It is used as an exhibition hall and a café bar. Jardines de la Agricultura, located between the Jardines de la Victoria and the Paseo de Córdoba, it includes numerous trails that radially converge to a round square which has a fountain or pond. This is known as the Duck Pond, and, in the center, has an island with a small building in which these animals live. Scattered throughout the garden are numerous sculptures such as the sculpture in memory of Julio Romero de Torres, the sculpture to the composer Julio Amente and the bust of Mateo Añoria. In the north is a rose garden in form of a labyrinth. Parque de Miraflores, located on the south bank of the river Guadalquivir. It was designed by the architect Juan Cuenca Montilla as a series of terraces. Among other points of interest is the Salam and Miraflores Bridge and a sculpture by Agustin Ibarola. Park Cruz Conde, located southwest of the city, is an open park and barrier-free park in English garden style. Paseo de Córdoba. Located on the underground train tracks, it is a long tour of several km in length with more than 434,000 square meters. The tour has numerous fountains, including six formed by a portico of falling water which form a waterfall to a pond with four levels. Integrated into the tour is a pond of water from the Roman era, and the building of the old train station of Renfa, now converted into offices of Canal Sur. Jardines Juan Carlos I, in the Ciudad Jardín neighborhood. It is a fortress which occupies an area of about 12,500 square meters. Jardines del Conde de Valellano, located on both sides of the avenue of the same name. It includes a large L-shaped pond with a capacity of 3,000 cubic meters cu feet and archaeological remains embedded in the gardens, among which is a Roman cistern from the second half of the 1st century BC. Park de la Asomadia, with a surface of 27 hectares, is the second largest park in Andalusia. The park recreates a Mediterranean forest vegetation, such as hawthorn, pomegranate, hackberry, oak, olive, tamarisk, cypress, elms, pines, oaks and carob trees among others. Balcón del Guadalquivir Jardines de Cologne Sotos de la Albalafia. 
Declared natural monument by the Andalusian Autonomous Government, it is located in a stretch of the Guadalquivir River from the Roman Bridge and the San Rafael Bridge, with an area of 21.36 hectares. Host a large variety of birds and is an important point of migration for many birds. Park Periurbano Las Vilares Museums <inaudible> 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 The Archaeological and Ethnological Museum of Córdoba is a provincial museum located in near the Guadalquivir River. The museum was officially opened in 1867 and shared space with the Museum of Fine Arts until 1920. In 1960, the museum was relocated to the Renaissance Palace of Paez de Castillo where it remains to present day. The Archaeological and Ethnological Museum has eight halls which contain pieces from the Middle to Late Bronze Age, to Roman culture, Visigothic art, and Islamic culture. The Julio Romero de Torres Museum is located next to the Guadalquivir River and was opened in November 1931. The home of Julio Romero de Torres, has undergone many renovations and been turned into a museum and it has also been home to several other historical institutions such as the Archaeological Museum 1868 and the Museum of Fine Arts. Many of the works include paintings and motifs done by Julio Romero de Torres himself. The Museum of Fine Arts is located next to the Julio Romero de Torres Museum which it shares a courtyard with. The building originally was for the old hospital for charity but after that the building went under many renovations and renewals to become the Renaissance style building it is today. The Museum of Fine Arts contains many works from the Baroque period, medieval Renaissance art, work from the 18th, 19th and 20th centuries, drawings, Mannerist art and other unique works. The Diocesan Museum is located in the Episcopal Palace, Cordoba which was built upon a formerly Arabic castle. The collection within houses many paintings, sculptures and furniture. Other notable museums within Córdoba The Arab Baths of the Fortress Khalifal Botanical Museum of Cordoba Three Cultures Museum Bullfighting Museum Molino de Martos Hydraulic Museum Museo Palacio de Viana Theaters. Gran Teatro de Córdoba Teatro Axerquia Teatro Góngora Festivals Tourism is especially intense in Córdoba during May as this month hosts three of the most important annual festivals in the city, Las Cruces de Mayo the May Crosses Festival takes place at the beginning of the month. During three or four days, crosses of around three meters height are placed in many squares and streets and decorated with flowers and a contest is held to choose the most beautiful one. Usually there is regional food and music near the crosses. Los Patios de Córdoba The Patios Festiva L is celebrated during the second and third week of the month. Many houses of the historic center open their private patios to the public and compete in a contest. Both the architectonic value and the floral decorations are taken into consideration to choose the winners. It is usually very difficult and expensive to find accommodation in the city during the festival. La Feria de Córdoba Cordoba's Fair takes place at the ending of the month and is similar to the better known Sevilla Fair with some differences, mainly that the Sevilla one has only private casitas, while the Córdoba one has both public and private ones. Politics and government Local administration is of 2018 Isabel Ambrosio Palos PSOE is the mayor of Córdoba. The City Council of Córdoba is divided into different areas, the Presidency, Human Resources, Management, Tax and Public Administration, City Planning, Infrastructure, and Environment, Social, and Development. The council holds regular plenary sessions once a month, but can hold extraordinary plenary session to discuss issues and problems affecting the city. The governing board, chaired by the mayor, consists of four U councillors, three of PSOE, and three non elected members. The municipal council consists of 29 members, 11 of PP, 7 of PSOE, 4 of U, 4 of Ganemos Cordoba, 2 of Quitadanos, and 1 of Union Cordobesa.
Administrative division Since July 2008, the city is divided into ten administrative districts, coordinated by the municipal district boards, which in turn are subdivided into neighborhoods. People Cordoba was the birthplace of the following philosophers and religious scholars In Roman times the Stoic philosopher Seneca In Islamic times Abd Allah al-Kusi, an early jurist responsible for spreading the Zahirite school Ibn Hazm, a major Muslim theologian and legal jurist Averroes, an important figure in both medieval Muslim and Christian philosophy Mundir bin Sa'id al-Baluti, a prominent judge for the Caliph of Córdoba Ibn Ma, the first linguist to write about dependency grammar al kurchubai a leading jurist of the Maliki school, and Moses Maimonides, a rabbi who radically changed the direction of Jewish philosophy. Córdoba was also the birthplace of the Roman poet Lucan the medieval Spanish poet Juan de Mina the Renaissance poet Luis de Góngora, who lived most of his life and wrote all his most important works but one in Córdoba, the Renaissance philosopher Abraham Cohen de Herrera and the Jewish mystic Moses ben Jacob Cordovero both descended from families which lived in Córdoba before the expulsion of the Jews from Spain. The painter Julio Romero de Torres More recently, several flamenco artists were born here as well, including Vicente Amigo Joaquin Cortés Fosforito Paco Peña Juan Serrano Also recently Manuel Laureano Rodriguez Sanchez Manolite, Matador Fernando Tierro, actor Gabby Delgado Lopez, musician currently under the royal patent of House of Silva Sports Córdoba's main sports team is its association football team, Córdoba CF, which plays in the Spanish Segunda Division following a brief one-season tenure in La Liga during the 2014-15 season. Home matches are played at the Estadio Nuevo Arcángel, which has 20,989 seats. Córdoba also has a professional futsal team, Idea Córdoba CF Futsal, which plays in the Segunda División de Futsal as well as a basketball team, Yosikese Basket, which plays in the Liga EBA. Both teams play the majority of their home games at the 3,500-seat Palacio Municipal de Deportes Vista Alegre. Transport. Rail The city is connected by high-speed trains to the following Spanish cities, Madrid, Barcelona, Seville, Malaga and Zaragoza. More than 20 trains per day connect the downtown area, in 54 minutes, with Malaga Maria Zambrano station, which provides interchange capability to destinations along the Costa del Sol, including Malaga Airport. Topic. Airports Córdoba has an airport, although there are no airlines operating commercial flights on it. The closest airports to the city are Seville Airport 110 km as the crow flies, Granada Airport 118 km, and Malaga Airport 136 km. Topic. Road The city is also well connected by highways with the rest of the country and Portugal. Topic: <inaudible> Intercity buses. The main bus station is located next to the train station. Several bus companies operate intercity bus services from and to Cordoba. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Twin towns, sister cities. Córdoba is twinned with